Hey guys, all right, uh, back to, uh, I'm going to take the bike for a test spin here. It's not running right, there's definitely um, something not going right, but of course I figure it out in the end, but uh, this is just to kind of show you how it's, you know, it's running really rough and it's it's quite boggy, so um, we don't want to watch me, you know, haul it out of the garage and all that stuff, so I'm just going to fast forward this part. Okay, uh, yeah, so the bike uh, does sound really good. Um, as usual, I always, you know, I start my bikes, anything actually, and I, I try to at least give a couple minutes warm up. Um, just feel the he the cylinder. I've always been just taught that way until it gets pretty much warm to touch. Um, and then at that point, it's ready to go. So let's hear that engine a bit. sound right it's uh it's really boggy not very responsive so what i'm gonna do is uh on a two stroke i'm gonna just go half a turn out on my air screw and uh as you go out with the two stroke on your air screw that leans it out so uh, i'm gonna stop here shortly and then uh, i think i go ripping through this mud it was really muddy and quite a mess actually that misfire and uh, um, just not clean, crisp, right? So that tells me it's, you know, something to do with the carburetor. So, but, uh, man, there was a lot of water. I wasn't quite, uh, quite thinking it would be that mucky. And that, that muck is like, it's like a gumbo. So it's, it really stinks and it gets cold. So, I think here, this is, I got my little screwdriver taped to the steering wheel there, or the bars, and uh, this is where I'm going to take it out and uh, give it a half turn and, and see, you know, is your, your air screw technically is for your idle and basically quarter throttle. So basically out of the hole is uh, what you're getting there. So don't actually have the camera on it but I'm turning it half a turn out and then uh, oh there we go see why we couldn't zoom in on there but um, yeah so gonna do a half turn and take it for a spin So here you can see it, it's running a little bit better. I catwalked it a bit there. And then I think I'm in second or third, it catwalked again. And then a little bit in fourth, so uh, it's not bad, but it should be catwalking straight up. Like it should come up with no problems at all there. Uh, it is sounding better, but uh, you can see I pull over here and uh, I'm gonna do half a turn out again. And it gets even better, so um when you hit that two and a half mark on your um on your air screw then it's time to drop down um a jet size so that's what they usually recommend um so that being said the jets in this were uh like pretty far out so um i'm not sure the reasoning behind that was when I checked my idle jet, it was actually 7.5, which is tiny. And uh, we, uh, the stock setting is 45 for the idle jet. Um, so uh, what my understanding is a 7.5 would have been back then was used for racers to bring that idle right down and to use uh, the full range of RPM. So... Uh, I uh, I actually ended up changing that to a 25, um, but that's farther down the road. Right now, we're just trying to adjust the air screw and get this bike into where it should be. 
So let's uh, let's see how it runs after I've gone half a turn out again. Okay, so yeah, let's fast forward that stuff. Don't need to see me uh, take my helmet off and all that. So here we go. We're going to start it up. I think we're going to start it up. There we go. All right, we're off. Right away, uh, I definitely notice it picks up a little bit more. Definitely a little bit more jam to it. So um, I know I'm going in the right direction. But uh, there, yeah, there was a pretty good, decent catwalk. Um, but it, definitely a carburetor issue. So the next step would be, uh, yeah, is uh, pulling that carb apart and taking a look and seeing what's going on. Um, to my surprise, I definitely find a big issue, and uh, I show you, I'll show you guys soon here uh, in my next couple of videos. But that. Um, at that point it's like wow this is quite obvious where the issue was so um, but uh, yeah the bike pulls good get some good runs out of it um, it should pull even better though and uh, I can't I can't wait to get it like almost perfect so I'm I'm getting there um, actually tonight I'll probably take my camera out and uh, go to a local pit and just do some uh, ripping around by myself and just see how it feels and all that stuff not too far away from the vehicle because I don't feel like pushing back too far but uh, not that that's gonna happen but um, I did fool around with my oil mixtures I'm running a full synthetic Amsoil oil and uh, I changed my oil mixture I'm running 50 to 1 instead of uh, um, uh, 32 to 1 so uh, I thought it uh, would smoke less but oh yeah, there's just tons of mud and water here uh, on another day, I probably would have went ripping through that stuff, but for me, uh, on this day, I definitely didn't want to get muddy, so, and just ripping through the grass. The bad thing about going through the grass, like, is, uh, basically, you never know where you could hit a, a potential rut or, uh, a tire track or something like that and, and be on your keister pretty quick, so, especially with wet grass and slippery conditions, right? So it's always something you gotta watch out for. I, I wiped out hard as a kid a few times that I can recall. And it was something, scenario, close to that. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So, uh, as always, guys, you want to find my videos, search for Irwin Tech. Uh, likes, subscriptions, comments, all of it's appreciated. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And, uh, till next time. Thanks, guys.